Jesus, what's going on? It's over. What's over? We are a star. We're over. What? Why are you saying that after everything that's just happened? We need each other more than ever. You're right. We we need something. But you're not going to find it in me, and I'm not going to find it in you. So I'm breaking up with you. You know, Bo, world's worst patient. Well, good. That means he'll get out of there soon. Listen, just tell him that everyone is thinking about him, and that Gigi, Shane, and I will be over there to see him soon. Well, I certainly like the sound of that. And please tell Gigi that I'm so glad she's back. Okay, I will. Bye-bye. Rex loves you. Gigi loves you. Shane loves you. The whole town loves you. <laughs> Everyone's pulling for you. Everyone. Including me. How's Bo doing? Uh, a lot better. How you doing, Marasco? Oh, it's actually uh, awesome now, since we're finally official. I don't get to call you Marasco anymore? You can call me whatever you want. I'm just so happy we're finally married. I just can't believe that you're even here, and that you're alive. And I'm not going anywhere. Hey, 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 cut that out! We got work to do. Honeymoon is over. What the hell are you doing here? <sighs> hey, well, this is a, it's a pleasant surprise. Hi, how's my little boy? How are you, buddy? Oh, he was a, a little bouncy in the lobby, but I think it's because he knew he was going to see his dad. Well, yeah, of course he was a little bouncy in the lobby. How's Jess doing? Not so good. You know, she informed me I've had their ups and downs, but she loved him. Anyway, I wanted to stay with her, but uh, she asked me, actually. She insisted that I, I come here so that I could um, have that talk with you. She said that we shouldn't wait. And she'd be right. What do you think, Liam? Should mommy and daddy have a talk? What was that? Yesterday? Yesterday we should have had that talk. Uh, Yesterday? Oh, 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 we should have had the talk last month. I think somebody might need a nap. And you know what? I got him. Wow. And, uh, you better be here when I get back. And turn your phone off. For that matter, turn mine off. Hey, little D. How you doing? How should I know? It's the first time I'm doing this. Destiny and the baby are doing just fine. In fact, they're doing so well, we may not see each other until the delivery. I guess it's getting to be that time. How are you feeling? <sighs> Huge. Can't wait till this baby is born. I know the last few days are rough, but you know what? Everything is going to be just fine. How can you say that? Her kid's father just ran out on her. If something had happened to you, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah, now you know why we get so worried when you are far from home. God, I'm so happy to see you. I was always coming back, Mom. You were? Yeah, why wouldn't I? So you're really going to be okay, Dad? You could tell me, bud. Yeah, he's going to be just fine. And when I heard that Troy MacGyver had broken out and taken you hostage... I... Oh, honey, I'm sorry you were so worried. No, I'm sorry I wasn't here. 
then none of this would have happened. You're breaking up with me? Now? The day after he, your brother is basically murdered? That doesn't make sense, James. I'm upset and you're upset. That's why I'm here, right? To help you or just to be with you. I, I know what it feels like to, to lose someone that you love for them to die. Yeah, I guess you do. Right. So let's just take it easy, okay? I'm a star. Hang out. I appreciate you showing up. Really, I do. And, and you're right. Losing Polly. James. I meant what I said about breaking up. No, don't say that I to heard me. you. I heard you, okay? I heard you last night with Cole when you told him that you still loved him. I know you probably don't want to see me. You got that right. Why would you even come here? I heard about the shooting. I was worried. I want to make sure you're okay. Why? You hate me. I don't hate you. I care about you. You have a funny way of showing it. I know. I could have ended up in prison because of you. That's the other reason I came. I had to see you. To apologize. Now nobody could be happier than me that the two of you are hit. But we got a party to throw here. Oh, for us? Not for you. You already had your party. For Fraternity Row, because it's their last episode tomorrow. <gasps> oh my god, that's right. It's terrible. But uh, anyway, I'm throwing a huge bash for the SOS committee. SOS? Save, Save our stories. stories. Oh! Right. And we almost did, because we petitioned, we wrote letters, we made phone calls, and uh, we tried to talk to those empty suits, but they wouldn't listen. Yes, they had already made up their minds. Okay, so the only thing for us to do is just put on our party hats and give them the send-off that they deserve. Well, I'm down with that, whatever makes my family happy. Okay, all right, well, I got all sorts of decorations here, and uh, party favors, and costumes, because everybody's going to dress up in their favorite costume, and I, of course, I'm going to be Lorraine, and you could be whoever you want, um, except not Brandon and Brianna, because that's Johnny and um, Natty, because they're the star-crossiest lovers that I've ever met, so I'm taking odds that Fraternity Row is going to give them a happy ending. I mean, somebody's got to. You know, after everything that's happened, I'm just... I thank God you're okay and that our little boy is happy and healthy. Yeah, me too. That's because of you. Saved me. From where I'm standing, you saved me. Okay, maybe I, I helped a little. Does that mean we don't have to have this talk? No. No, um... I need to say this, and, um, I need you to hear it. Okay. Oh, okay, um... Here? Yeah. So, uh, thanks. That night at Rhodey's, when you, when you had that talk with Roxy, I was there, and I heard you tell Roxy that you didn't love me anymore. No, I know, and, uh... And I left right after you said that. And the next thing I know, I accepted Brody's proposal, and <sighs> later on to find out from Roxy that you, in fact, did still love me, and I know that's what you've been trying to tell me all this time. So why didn't you let me? Because I was mad at you. You were going to let me marry someone else. What is wrong with you? Hey, you know, when we said we we're going to have this talk, I didn't realize you were going to yell at me. Yeah, well, you deserve it. You know, you were going to let me walk down the aisle with Brody. You know, kind of piss me off. I can see that. John, the most important thing is... I need to know that you'd fight for me. You don't know that? That's her. Even after you found out the truth? Well, you know, Roxy's not the most reliable source, and for all I knew, there was a big but after whatever it is you told her. This is why you want to leave well enough alone. I was scared. I lied to you. And even if you did still love me, that... 
I didn't know if you could forgive me. Matthew is long gone. DC's not that far away. It's far enough. And look, I don't, I don't want to talk about him. Whatever you say. Look, if he doesn't want to help, then I'm glad he's not here. Well, I've got the best Lamaze coach in the world. Yeah, your brother is amazing. Right now, we just have to make sure that Des gets everything that she needs. Well, good, because I need 20 bucks. What do I look like, the bank of Sean? Well, I want to give Mr. B some flowers. He and Mrs. B have been amazing since this whole thing started. Thank you. You've got an awesome boyfriend. Don't I know it. You know, most guys are only out there for themselves, but not Sean. You better hang on to him. Don't you have some flowers to get? Oh. So when Destiny goes into labor, are we supposed to call you? Well, I'm hoping that you call me before that. Sean, I don't want to go into a delivery room with someone who's not speaking to me. We're talking now, aren't we? Baby, are we ever going to talk about what happened at Christmas? You mean when I gave you that engagement ring and you threw it back in my face? I could have gone to jail for murder because of you, and I didn't even kill anyone. I know you didn't. So what's going to happen now? They're going to charge me for unlawful imprisonment. And then even if I only get community service, it's going on my permanent record. Off to admit it on all my college applications. Oh, Jack, if you don't get into college because of me... No, I'll get in somewhere. But that's not the point. For a long time, I've been wanting to tell someone. To confess. Only I didn't trust anyone. Until I met you. And then you turned me in. I know. I shouldn't have done that. Getting to know you was the most wonderful thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, like I'll believe anything you say. I don't have a tape recorder. I would never do that to you again. Whatever. You said what you were going to say. Now get out. No. I'm not leaving until you hear me out. You've got five minutes. I wasn't going to give the tape to Shane. Jack, after you talked to me, I understood that it was a mistake, it was an accident, that you were truly very sorry. So I told him, I told him I didn't record anything. Only then she got so upset that, Jack, I was afraid he was going to kill himself. And I'm not trying to make excuses. I should have never agreed to it in the first place. I don't even know why I did. But I'm, but I was wrong. And I'm just, I'm truly very sorry. Fine. You can go now. No. You confess to me. Now I have to confess to you. Well, so uh, what else you got in this bag, huh? Let's get okay. this party started. All right. Wait, here? Right, no, yeah, no, here, of course. Hey. Hey, oh, did you get the mail? Yeah, and there's this letter for me. I don't get it. Something really weird's going on. James Cole is the father of my child. He was dying. Star, I am, I'm not angry at you. I know how hard this is. Okay, I, I still can't believe that my brother is gone. I I just keep thinking that I'm going to wake up and, and, and he's going to be here. I know, I'm so sorry. Okay, so just let's be honest with each other, okay? Listen, what? last night when you were with Cole, I have never seen you like that. The way that you were looking at him, I could feel it from across the room. And... And I started thinking about you and me. And if you had ever looked at me like that. And I know that Cole is gone. And you and I, we... We had something. So I don't think you'll ever feel that way about me. James, I love oh, you. Stop. You don't have to say that. I know 
I know that you feel bad about Bobby, but you don't have to lie to me. I'm not lying to you, James. I do love you. As much as you love Cole? So now you know why I didn't want to talk. When I was at my worst. I was full of pride. I was stubborn. scared. I lied to you. And even if at the time I thought it was for all the right reasons, I was willing to marry you with that lie between us. And that is something that I never wanted to do. And I am ashamed of that. I didn't, I didn't trust you enough to tell you the truth. <sighs> but I didn't want to lose you. So I guess you can add coward to that list too. Are you done? Well, that depends. Can you forgive me? Are you let me talk? What happened between Troy and myself and ultimately with your father had nothing to do with you. Mom, but don't you get it? If I hadn't gone to D.C., I would have been home when Troy showed up. Okay, I, I would have fought him off. I appreciate that you want to protect me, but this really had nothing to do with you. Dad, come on, tell her. I mean, Troy even took her to the same place he took me. Son, MacGyver's the last person you should be thinking about right now. Bo? No, I'm just, I'm saying that Matthew... He can't change what's happened with him. None of us can. Let's just be grateful that we're all safe and you're home. Yeah. Hey, Mr. V, you up for a visit? I did not throw the ring back in your face. You didn't accept it. You should have never given it to me. I told you how I felt about marriage and that it had nothing to do with you. It was about me and my parents and what I don't want my life to be. I don't want to get married, Sean. And you knew that. But you... You get me this gorgeous ring. And you give it to me at Christmas. What were you thinking? That I could change your mind. So I guess that's it. We're never going to get married. I am never getting married to anyone. That doesn't mean that I don't love you and that I don't love the time that we spend together. Are you telling me that that's not good enough for you? You want to confess? Great! What else did you do to me? You know what? Never mind. Wait. Neela, stop. I'm sorry. Okay? Tell me what you want to say. You know why I came here. My father was insisting I married that frog. Yeah, I remember. All my friends have arranged marriages. It's what's expected in my culture. It's, it's what I expected. But I dreamed about something different. A boy with wavy head and tall, strong-willed, ambitious. And I couldn't do it. So I ran away to America thinking I'd stay with my brother, go to school, get a job, and then look for him. But I never thought I'd meet him on my first night here. We received your portfolio and are pleased to offer you admission to the Phil Jimenez School of Cartoon and Graphic Art in Blackheath, Great Britain. Our second semester begins in late January, so we would require you to answer immediately. Given the quality of your work you submitted, we are prepared to offer you a full scholarship and a stipend to cover your living expenses while enrolled. Do you even know what this means? Somebody up there likes you? Uh, the Phil Jimenez School? Jimenez. It's like one of the best art schools in the world. No, no, I believe that's just not my area of expertise. Trust me, it's amazing. Well, it would have to be if they want you. But I didn't even apply. Well, maybe it's like one of those genius awards where they come looking for you. But they're talking about my portfolio. They said I submitted an application. Mom? <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't get it. <laughs> this is all thanks to Gigi. She sent in the application. James, I'm not going to compare you. It's okay. It's okay, I get it. It's a really bad time right now. For the both of us. I mean... You lost Cole, and, and I lost my brother. But start fooling ourselves, it's, it's not gonna help. I'm so sorry. Me too. It's why, it's why we have to deal with this right now, because I can't wake up in, in 5, 10, 20 years being second best. That's, that's not fair to me. Or to you. And I'm not blaming you. I just don't think you realized how much you missed him. You were trying to do the right thing for for you and, and for Hope. But the truth is, Cole always came first. Do you know? I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm sorry. You're not wrong about me. I was angry. I don't like to be lied to. Especially by someone that means as much to me. I'm so sorry. I mean, does that mean that we can't get past this? You made a serious mistake. But I could have handled it better. I drank too much too often. I slept with someone else and I did all that to hurt you. I couldn't handle thinking that Liam wasn't mine. I look back at myself. And I see someone I don't even recognize, and I am ashamed of that. I took a bad situation, and I made it worse. I failed you, and I failed Liam, and I failed myself. You want to know if I can, if I can forgive you? Real question is, can you forgive me? So about a year ago, when Jack and all of his friends were making your life miserable, I decided to find another school for you, a school that would appreciate you for you and all of your talents. You knew about the Jimenez school? Uh, you only talked about it every day. <laughs> yeah, but I never thought they'd accept me. Yeah, and I told you to go for it. I told you to apply, remember? But they only accept like 2% of the people who apply. You know, even if they took the top 1%, it would still be you, because that's how good you are. Okay, I know you guys think I'm great, but but... You are great! But for this school to take me in, it's like... the best for what I want to do. Yeah, and you've got in because of your work. I know we're just your family, okay, but comic books, a lot of people read them, and not just artists. If we love them... Everybody's gonna love them. Mom, you did this to get me out of a bad situation. And it's not so bad anymore. You're back and it's actually pretty good. I'm really happy. There's no reason to leave Landview anymore. I don't know about that. I thought you were in DC. Yeah, I was. I went to go see David and Dorian. But my parents needed me. Right. Your parents. Who else would you come home for? Destiny. How are you feeling, Mr. B? Uh, good. They say that I'm, that I'm going to be okay, Destin. Okay. How about you, Miss B? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, these are for you. They're uh, nothing special, but you guys have done so much for me. Oh, honey, thank you. They're lovely. Yeah, they sure are. Hey, uh, <clears throat> how about you, Destiny? You okay? Do you need anything? Oh, no, I'm fine. Destiny, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean to make you cry. No, no, please. James, if you ever need anything, please call me. I think what I really need is a clean break. <laughs> but I am never going to forget you, Twinkle. I'm never going to forget you. <laughs>
You want to know if I forgive you? If you can find it in your heart. Yeah, of course. Of course I can. Of course. I mean, but do you forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. All that matters is now. You still want me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Then bring those lips here. I guess if I just thought if I was lucky enough to find a woman like you, that we'd get married, raise a family. Family is important to me. It's who I am. I know. And I'm not trying to force you into the kind of marriage that your parents had. We would do our own thing like we always have. Sean. I don't want marriage. What do you want? What we have. I want more than that. I guess we want different things. Good luck, Viv. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I'm really sorry about our fight. Okay, I was just trying to tell you exactly how I felt. And I know that I hurt your feelings and I feel really bad about it. Ever since I've been away, it's all I've been thinking about. Matthew, what are you trying to say? Have your feelings about this baby changed? I don't know what you expect me to say. I don't expect anything. I just wanted you to know how I felt. You were honest with me, Jack, and I wanted to be honest with you. And even if you don't feel the same way, I'm glad I told you. Uh, what are we talking about? Their view is your home. Yes, I know. And we love it here, but this is a great opportunity. I mean, uh, a school that uh, thinks our kid is so great that they want to pay him to go there. I mean, how often does that happen? Thanks to Gigi, this is a dream come true. Right, Shane? Well, yeah, obviously. But Veramon's right. This is home. And now that Mom's back, I don't want to leave you. Well, maybe you don't have to. Your grandmother tried to run me off. That doesn't surprise me. She's not a big fan of the video. I can't deal with you today, Rick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I heard. Your baby daddy died. I'm really, I'm really, really sorry, Star. That has got to be so rough with the kid and all. I almost believe you mean that. Are you kidding? I mean, with all this tragedy, oh, you are a PR gold thing. Oh, and you're a jerk. <sighs> If you don't want it. You know what? You should be glad that as your manager, I am trying to capitalize on your life as a drama queen. Any other manager would just walk away. You should treat me with a little more appreciation. Are you serious? As a funeral. And since you have a couple to go to, and I have been to my fair share, listen to Uncle Rick. It is time to move on. Starfish, to, to grab that rainbow in the sky and haul in that pot of gold. Because I have some news that is going to rock your world.
Destiny, look, you're my best friend. Okay, we've been able to tell each other anything. Now, can I talk to you without you getting all mad at me? I don't know, can you? I meant what I said, okay? I care about you. It's not just me anymore, Matthew. I know that. I, uh... You still don't want this baby, do you? Look, it's not that I don't want it. Just say it! Okay, I don't want it. All right, I'm not ready. Well, I wasn't ready either. But the baby doesn't care. This baby is on its way any day now. And somehow, a lot of other people who weren't ready either got ready. Your parents have already set up a nursery. Your mom helped me with all my college applications. Sean, he volunteered to be my Lamaz coach. And Vivian, she's just a phenomenal doctor. She listens whenever I'm scared or confused. All my friends, Danny, they have all volunteered to babysit. Everyone has stepped up but you, Matthew. But you know what? That's okay. Because I don't need you. I will do this by myself, and I will. Are you okay? Excuse me, but would someone explain just exactly how this is going to work? Because the school is in England and you're here. It's one hell of a commute, folks. <sighs> okay. Shane, when I sent your portfolio to the school, I told myself that I was trying to find a safe place for you that would nurture your talent. But the truth is, I was, I was just running away from the problem. So who knows? Um... Maybe it was lucky that I was gone all this time. Because you grew up. You stood up for yourself. You've become a strong, confident guy now. And I'm so proud of you. I don't want to leave you. And I don't want to leave you. But your father is right. This is a dream come true. Going to this school would be so awesome for you. So I think your father and I, well, I, I think we're just going to have to go with you. Seriously? Definitely. <laughs> I'll make all the arrangements and I'll handle all the money. And this is real? As real as it gets. I told you that once we got cooking online that the rest would just fall. You don't have to give me an answer right now. You got a lot on your plate. So... Sleep on it and call me in the morning. You, you need an answer by tomorrow morning? TikTok starfish, fame waits for no woman. This is your opportunity. You gotta grab it. Time to start the next chapter in your life. I'm not going to do this perfectly. I don't know about you, but, um, that was pretty perfect. <laughs> yeah. I was... I sort of talking about everything else. I'm not going to do everything else perfect either. But I do know that I don't want to do this without you. It's not the same. In a while, you're gonna have to shut up. You, know, you did this to me, you know. You got me started. <laughs> I'll be quiet. Not only I love you. It's really worth it.